there is such a thing as looking at too many homes before buying a house. Cue, Cue the, the intro. intro. As your real estate agent, one of the best pieces of advice that I can give you when you're early on in the process, you're combing through websites, trying to find that perfect property that you might wanna take a look at is don't have too many properties on your list. Sometimes it's a process of elimination. You've got to understand exactly what it is that you're looking for in that property and try to get the list down as small as possible, perhaps between five and 10, and then, and then go out to look at those homes in order to pick the best one for you. Yeah, you're right, Ryan. And a lot of the times we get our, cl our clients bringing us a list of 50 plus homes that they want to go and see. Honestly, by the time you've looked at eight, they all start to merge together. So if you're in the middle of looking at homes online and you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed, give us a shout. We'd be delighted to help you. As always, like this video, love it, share it with your friends, and we'll see you next week on Sell, Sell It Proper. Too many homes when what? No? You. Yeah. Cue the intro. Cue the intro. Sorry. But you do it with the other hand inwards. Oh, right, okay. Oh, yeah. Ready? Oh, From the top. Ow! Come on, let's do it. <laughs> From the top. And you're... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know why I said that. Just those things. I'm sorry, I'm not... So I know I can... it's okay. It's okay. Do we need to start again? I don't think I'm zoning out. Yeah, she was zoning out. Okay. So guys, the biggest piece of advice that I can give you when you're just starting out the process... <laughs> Looking at what's available within your parameters. <laughs> Sorry, I rolled my eyes. Looking at what's available within your parameters. <laughs> okay. Teresa.